Hey everybody, after a super extra long hiatus, we are back with a episode 13 of Two Bitches on a Bench. And believe it or not, we're actually sitting outside. Ooh. Snow covered, yes. We're sitting by the, what river? Elbow. Elbow River, which is not frozen in the middle. It's flowing. So it's a good sign, sort of, kind of, right? Yeah. Okay, bitch. Number two. Bitch number two is here, along with Wolfington's Post, who is cozied in the sweater and coat of bitch number two, <laughs> because he's a diva. So? <laughs> so today's episode is about, we have decided, planning? Planning. <laughs> it's Did an, we plan on this? No, we didn't plan. <laughs> we said that it was going to be about planning that we didn't plan for. And apparently I have food on my face. Croissant. <laughs> Shh. Is it gone? <laughs> yes. Okay. So, we've had some, some changes happen along the way since we did our last recording, which I believe was the follow-up to the whole Christmas event. Oh, jeez. That was the last time we podcast. Um, I'm not dead. She's not dead. Neither am I. Um, That's a win. <laughs> um, your major event has been you finished the theory part of your yoga. No, I, I, I officially finished the classes. I just have a few modules to catch up on because I missed a few because of weather and being sick. Yeah. So sick the years. official me having to go for seven hours over a weekend, which doesn't sound like a lot, but going directly from work to school oh she's not pleasant of somebody the problem is is that the instructor started off to be quite lovely and then it became he became a beast so it became very very hard to go and have my energy sucked on friday night and then um saturday afternoon (coughs) into the evening and then that was what felt like my entire weekend so yeah so i've done that Yay. Yay. Congratulations. Thank you. So I have, I think it's four more modules left and then eight more apprenticing that I've got to do and then I'm done. And then you can be a teacher. Mm Mm-hmm. Excellent. Mm Mm-hmm. Excellent. Yeah. And you were also taking some online courses in the legal field. Mm Mm-hmm. How are those going? Um, so the, one of them was keyboarding, which... In order to pass this course, you had to have an average of 30 words per minute. (laughs) So, being somebody who's worked in an office since I was, what, 10? (laughs) Child labor here, (laughs) yes. Um, That one was a little bit, I mean, I learned some stuff, but I find it very, very hard. Once you kind of have a basis of doing typing, it's very hard to break out of the habit. But I was able, once I finished the third or fourth module, and these are They're big modules. They take about four weeks to finish. Once I finished the third one, um, I was able to apply for exam status, so I'm glad I don't have to do that last one now, which is good. And then I finished with an A-plus in the class. Yes. Genius. In my typing class. Think about in grade seven, which was how many years ago? What would I have been? Like, oh God, that was seven years ago. I was 11, so 17 years ago, and I was taking typing. What did I say to you? (laughs) I'm so excited. I typed six words a minute with three errors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We um, laughed about that for a very long time. Yeah. But now I am up to 90 words a minute. And um, either with 100 or 99% accuracy. So Nicely done. Mm-hmm. And then this other one, I'm pretty much almost done. And I don't know. I still struggle to decide what I'm doing with my life. I had a little bit of a mini meltdown. What was I doing? Oh, Lord. No, no, just wait. Because I can't remember what I was doing, and I came across something. I don't know if I was watching a show or what it was, and I came to this realization that I'm almost 30, which is pretty much almost 40. I'm two years away from 30, which is practically 40. (laughs) For anybody who watches Schitt's Creek, you'll understand that. (laughs) 
um, Alexis. <laughs> and I have no, no trajectory with what I'm doing with my life. And that was a little bit, take my breath away in not a good way yesterday. I felt a little bit winded last night. Well, not that it's going to make you feel any better, but I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of my life either. That doesn't help me. I know. I'm sorry. It's fine. Um, so, you're almost done your online courses as well then? Well, I'm done. There's multiple courses, but this specific course I'm just about done. That's I'll be done I mean. in less than a month. That's I've just got to take the exam. That's what I meant, Alexis. Okay. Jesus. Well, I thought we should be clear that... Right. For this semester, let's call it. Okay. Semester. Any other changes in your world? Um, there was... I don't understand why people feel the need to talk so loud that all of us need to be involved in their conversation. That's just a little bitching aside. Anywho. I have a bitch to make too after, but you continue. Finish with your story first. Um... Okay, well, a good thing is that a couple of girls that I work with convinced me to try this new, um, I'll call it a workout studio, um, fitness studio that had opened, and um, February 28th, I went and tried a bar class for the first time, and I absolutely loved it, um, and then the studio was offering, in the month of March, if at any point in the month of March you bought a 30-day pass, you could sign up for a 30-day challenge, um, the 30-day pass was... Um, heavily discounted and then if you got through the 30 if you got through 30 classes in that 30 day period you get two months for free two months unlimited for free so I am currently eight classes short and I, I mean I double up on the week anyway I usually go right from work to the studio and I'm there from like 4 30 no I'm usually there from like 5 till 8 <laughs> just working out which has been amazing and I've noticed a gigantic difference in my mood because I, I generally can't go and work out on well I haven't been able to work out on Fridays or Saturdays because of yoga and those two days and then I've had good intentions of working out on Sunday but Sunday is nice to just have a lazy day and not have to drive to over there and um, so that I've gone three or more days without doing multiple workouts in a day and I notice a difference I notice a huge difference in your mood in my mood mm -hmm. well as a person who is around you not as much as I used to be mm -mm. but occasionally around you on the weekend on Sundays usually mm -hmm. um, I notice a difference too and I know that when you haven't worked out you're very dark and gray yeah. you're a rainy day mm -hmm. And when you have worked out, you're a nice sunny, bright day. Yeah. So, thus has become, again, a confusing, a confusing thing for me of, for my own, how selfish do you get to be when you choose what you do with your life? For example, if I were to become a fitness person, whatever that looks like for a job, is that really selfish of me to say I'm doing this because it makes me it it brings up my mood you know what do you mean that's selfish well it is kind of selfish to be like I'm only doing my job so that I'm well no because do you want to be in a job that makes you feel humdrum and glum and cranky Hell all day? no exactly so so if you're doing something that keeps your own mood up you're getting paid for it plus you're helping other people what's wrong with that yeah no I guess it's just it's always just that kind of thing of well you're not supposed to like your oh, yeah, like yeah, your yeah. job <laughs> yes but what about all of the positive Instagram posts of if you're not doing um, how does that go if you're not doing if you're not doing what you love now I can't remember what the post is but you know what I mean <laughs> I'm dull um and relatively <coughs> cosmetically in and around with all of this I was faced with a problem on the job a very very serious problem it had 
nothing to do with me, just the fact that I witnessed it and I did everything that I was supposed to based on protocol and now apparently I'm kind of in the, um, I'm going to use a quote, line of fire with the CEO of the company, not my manager, but the CEO because of this. So for the last two weeks, I have been what feels like walking on eggshells. We, the department that I work in, I work with absolutely wonderful people that I, I have never worked with such wonderful people. The amount of wonderful people. I've worked with wonderful people before, but to have an entire department of people that are just like, there's not one person in there that I don't like, don't like, don't absolutely adore. Yeah. So, but all of us collectively have just been absolutely miserable because of the stuff that has gone down with me in the last couple weeks. And just in general, there's been a lot of, <clears throat> there's been a lot of action that's making it look like our department isn't important. We're the bottom of the barrel. We, they don't give an F about us. And, um, so it's just kind of, it's just kind of interesting that I'm questioning, once again, I'm questioning <coughs> what I'm going to be doing and kind of this only thing that's giving me any life or giving me any joy is this excessive working out. Even, even though it's causing me to eat like a bear, which is not good. <laughs> My appetite is out of control and I'm hot all the time and I'm sweaty. And the girls <laughs> I work with think it's so funny. It is pretty funny. You're um, in full in menopause. We had, uh, <laughs> we had one of the girls I worked with, we, talk, we talked about starting a cult. Um, oh God. She wants to start a Justin Bieber cult. Not because she likes him, but just she, because she thinks it could be lucrative. And so my name in the cult is Sweaty Meg. <laughs> so. Nice. Yeah. That's Isn't it? Nice. Isn't it lovely? Yes, it is. So. And that was even before I started this mad dash to work out. <laughs> but. Yeah. Anyway. That's. That's been. And even as an example, the other day I get into work and the one girl I work with, she says, So. She's got this look on her face. This. It wasn't bemused, but it was like, oh boy, I have something to tell you and you're probably not going to take it well because we had a meeting with the CEO and there was no context as to what this meeting was about. It was all of us in the department and we're all kind of freaking out going, me especially. So I had to call my direct manager and, and ask him point blank, I'm asking you this on a personal level. Do I have some, do I have anything to worry about with us having the meeting? And he's like, no, I don't think so. <laughs> so our local HR lady was in their office that day and he actually went to her and asked her specifically like your manager went to her and asked her mm -hmm. interesting so just I mean yes it's all fine and great that nothing it had nothing to do with that that's lovely but the fact that the fact that I am feeling the need to worry so much and that I am walking on eggshells at work and I've gone from, I mean, it's not that I loved, loved my job, but there were so many things that I liked about it and I never dreaded going to work. Now I do because of this, because I feel like I have no security in my job anymore because I, I saw something, I have proof of something occurring that was against it's the rules, completely against the rules. It is if, if there were a law in where I worked, it would be against the law. Yeah. And I'm the one who got, I'm the one who got the backfire from it. So, okay, hold, hold that thought for a second. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe more than a second, but hold that thought. So I made a change in my work environment a month ago. Wee. Yeah, a month ago. Wee. A little over a month ago, right? You started you started the first of March, I think. Yes. And but I left you left mid February. Yeah. Was the other one. So probably like five weeks ago. So the decision for me to leave the other job was based on 
Um, terrible management. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> just awful. Um, the thing about think, think just think of the Devil Wears Prada, except <laughs> she is not stylish like that, <laughs> um, and she's also not well respected like that and she's also not in a position like that and she also doesn't do work like that but the general like when the, the when present. when in the part where she gets she gets out of the car and all the departments start floating up to each other and being like she's coming she's coming she's coming <laughs> and they're like throwing away their food and they're changing their shoes and they're like that's that's what it's like get her yeah yeah look busy and um I've been doing what I do for a really long time. Since before I was born. Really long time. Because I'm almost 40 after all. She is almost 40 after all. Um, <laughs> and I know my job, and I know what to do, and I'd like to say that I do it well. But I was extremely micromanaged, and it was getting to the point where... You were undermined. Yeah, that too. In your in your ability to do mm -hmm. your job, and it really hit home for me when I couldn't make a decision on buying groceries. Do you remember that? You were with me, and I think we were at Save On. Save On Foods. Yeah, it's a great place to shop. Go shop there. <laughs> Plug we're, for Save On Foods. We're looking for sponsors. We are Save On. We're looking for sponsors. <laughs> if you'd like to help us out. Um, Okay, so seriously, do you remember that? I think it was a Saturday night, and we had gone out for dinner, I think, or coffee. One of the two, whatever. And then we decided to stop and grab a few things, and you said to me, we went in the store, and you said to me, do you know what you want? I'm like, oh, I don't know. Like, I kind of need eggs, and I need milk, but I'm not sure. And you said to me, we were standing in the produce, and you said to me, what is wrong with you? Why can't you decide what you need for groceries? And that's when it hit me. It was like, because I don't know and I might not make the right decision. Which is also very interesting because you're talking about this and to me nothing specific is coming up because this kind of feels like what going for groceries is like with you anyway. Lately, yeah, it is. Yeah, or the, well, what do you want? Well, I don't know. What do you want? Well, I don't know. What do you want? Aren't we just trying to decide where we want coffee? <laughs> well, I don't know. What do you want? So. Narrow it down. Do you want coffee, coffee, or specialty yeah. coffee? But, so, that was kind of my point when I knew I could not stay there because it was killing me mentally. Emotionally, spiritually. That too. And then an opportunity, um, a potential opportunity was revealed to me. Which was through word of mouth. Yes. Funny enough. And, when... I, and I didn't act on it. Mm. And then the person called me late about a week or two a week and a half your later, contact my contact called me and asked me if I had followed up on the lead and I said no actually I hadn't I'd been too busy and then he said I said do you know if it's still open he goes I don't know I think so he goes it wouldn't hurt just you know follow up and so that was on a Friday I sent my resume I emailed my resume on Sunday and Monday morning, ironically, I got an email from the guy who was hiring asking if um, we could get together. And I had a really long interview later that week. No, the next day. It was the next day. Wow. And then I had a second interview on the Thursday, which was long. And they, they offered me the job. So at within the end a of week. week. Yeah. Yeah. With all oh, of within it. five days. Yeah. Um, so to me, that was kind of like it was meant to be, and that was my, okay, get out, get out. Mm -hmm. But ironically, and it, okay, just let me be clear, I really like my new place, and I like the people that I work with. They have a gym. We have a gym there. I haven't used it yet, because I'm too, you know, I can't. But um, the only downfall for me for it is it's farther to drive, <laughs> which isn't really that far. But which, I'm okay, but she's also going against traffic. Yes. So, as people are going downtown, she's leaving downtown. Yes. So... I'm being a suck. Yes. I'm being a suck about and it. And it, what, it takes 20 minutes? Yes. Yeah. At busiest... Yes. Yeah. yeah. The other day, I think it took me 40 minutes or something, and that was because I left late and got right in the yeah. hub of 
rush hour. But you had also said to me that you actually, you said to me a couple days ago that your, your drive home time actually isn't terrible because it's your opportunity to, because I was trying to sell you on listening to podcasts in the car and you were, you said to me, oh, well, you know, my drive home time is usually quiet. I don't listen to the radio. I don't listen to anything and I just use it to unwind. So you're also complaining about the fact that you don't want to unwind in the car. Cool. Cool. Anyways, my point of it is... She has one. I do have one. We're getting there. Um, I like it. And I actually was given the go-ahead to make a huge decision the other day, which was kind of shocking for me. And I had to look around to see who else was standing around me, who they might be talking to, which was no one. Um, but it's, it's led me to a point in my life where I know that I don't want to do this forever. I want something else. And I, I know what I want. I just don't know how to get, get to the point to make it work. And I don't know now that we're talking about all of this stuff, what this has to do with planning as we started out. <laughs> well, well, I guess kind of the purpose, does. the purpose of this was that we were talking, we didn't really have a plan. So <laughs> there you go. We okay. wanted to make it seem like we had a plan and we didn't right. uh, fooled you. So, Okay, so what I just said about yeah. after all these years, blah, blah, blah. <coughs> then we go back to you. Uh -huh. And now it's like, okay, well, do you think that when you started this job um, and you had, because you had told me several times how much you loved it and all this stuff, and then something happened mm -hmm. to make you change your mind? Well, it, I feel like that's a, yes, that is true. I just feel like. I know what you're like and I know what you've said to me in the past couple days <laughs> and I don't want it to seem like it's something really really trivial it's not trivial at no. all and and I I had to ask the people that I work with like do I need to be worried about my job and some of them were like yeah you do Yeesh. so it's not like this is just something for me of oh you've hit that six month mark and now you're sick of it it's it's not like that at all I know and I, that's not what I was going to say after you've gone off on that tangent that was the well, other day well you did day. say that I to did me the say other that day to you the other day when you had your suck fit you were having a suck fit anyway we'll get to that in a minute my point that I was trying to make before I was so rudely interrupted by assumptions um do you think that maybe it's the universe that throws these things yes. at you to make you understand that this isn't what you're yes. supposed to be doing? Yes. But I do not have the confidence to just go and do. Right. I... I don't know. Because I really want to just go and do. I really just want to just do something. But... There's always a way for me to be like, yeah, but I can't because I've got a mortgage. Yeah, but I can't because, you know, I like to buy health food. Yeah, but I can't because I like to have, I like to have the freedom to go and buy a month membership at a fitness studio. Right. There's always a yeah, but I can't. Right. And I, however, I do know that that's not, for a lot of things you can't plan. You can have a plan, but I use my cat. You can have a plan, <laughs> but what the universe wants is way different, and the universe is going to make you look like a fool. If only you could see Bentley's face right now. He's got the face of, oh, uh, you guys. Just be me. <laughs> Just be me. Go with the flow. Be cute. Mm -hmm. Let people ooh and awe over you. Mm -hmm. Reel them in, mm -hmm. and then turn on them. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so anyways, that was that was sort of my my point yes, of that. I do because I said to you, this was this is going back a little while. This might have been like a month ago, maybe maybe a few weeks ago. And I sent you a, I sent you an Oprah quote, and there was something so specific about it. I've heard it before, and it's kind of it hit home a little bit for me where I've been like, oh yeah, that's a really good quote. But for whatever reason, it just popped into my head and it's been haunting me and haunt. That's the only way I can describe it. And it's, this is going to be a very, very terribly quoted because I can't remember it off the top of my head. But basically what she's saying is that gut instinct, the universe will be sending you signs. <gasps> and at first it's going to start off as something very, very small, like uh -huh. a feeling or yeah, it'll yeah. start off as a feeling. If you don't listen, then it's going to start to be a flick, flick on the head. 
If you don't listen to that, then it's going to be a pebble being thrown at your head. If you don't listen to that, then it's going to be, you know, a brick. And if you don't listen to that, then the entire brick wall, the entire yeah. brick wall is going to fall down. Yeah. And I don't know why, because I first heard that two years ago, and I don't know why. It's just been completely haunting, haunting me. That's, that's the only way I can describe it is haunting me. And then I get. Um, on Instagram because of course I follow all those woo-woo things that oh yeah that's all great but what do I do with it <laughs> which is I think kind of not the point and a lot of it has been about the universe and you know trust that the universe will um, will get you where you need to be you'll be where you need to be doing what you need to do being with who you need to be with all of that stuff and yeah. there's been a lot of that lately a ton yeah a ton I yeah. could probably Fun fact, if you don't know about this, you can actually save posts on Instagram, so where you can like it or comment or message it, share it. On the other side, there's a little thing that looks like a little bookmark. You click that and it actually saves it. I just learned that a I couple know. weeks ago. But I could probably go through, if I had my Instagram on me right now, I could probably go through and there'd, there'd be like 25 posts from last week, all related to that, yeah. where I have... Because yeah. I feel like it's also... Aside from me wanting to keep them as a reminder, I think it's also neat just to go go to show. I can see the dates of when these came, and just taking a look and going, hmm, where have all these come from? Why why have these all come from? Come now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Isn't she cute? Aww. There's this sweet little old man that walked past us with two bags of groceries. He's walking on the path and he's absolutely adorable. He's got a pipe and a beret and a really snazzy sports coat on. <laughs> he's adorable. <laughs> and for him. And he's probably got his... He's probably 80. He, uh, yeah, and I bet you he's got his Sunday dinner in those bags and he's going home to cook himself a proper Sunday dinner. Aww. Oh, I could learn from that. <laughs> going to planning yeah. here let's go to planning okay so based on that of what we were just talking about I bought a journaly thing last weekend and it's um, it's really cute and it's 365 days of planning planning yeah and you're supposed to write in this book every every day of the week um, and I think I think the purpose of it is to give you purpose <laughs> right like sort of well it's so that you can plan yeah so maybe that's what you need to do well, I, I told you this I have, before though I have I told you this before, though. How is that helpful? It's not. <laughs> um, She's in a good mood today. I did get this book last weekend that I think you actually... We got it at the same time as your book, so you got it for me, and it's this little kind of pocket... It's not a pocket book because it's way too big, but it's small, and it's rainbow, and it's... I think it's called 365 Days of Happiness, oh, yeah. and each day you write in... There's three things that you write in. What made me smile today? I can't remember what the other two are. And then you have to draw a picture of something from the day. Have you started it? I haven't because what I wanted to do is I wanted to save it for when we go to LA. Because that's how I wanted to start. Like I wanted to start because there will be an influx of good things. Yeah. And I feel like that's probably a way easier and more effective way for me to start. Good plan. I don't so. know. That's, that's a good idea. <laughs> Um, I haven't started mine yet either. I Why planet. not? That's not the point of it. I would ever say that. <laughs> I never said that. Um, I was going to start it last week and then I can't remember why I didn't. Because you didn't plan. You're right. I didn't plan. I have planned F all lately. The only thing that I have planned is picking my outfit for the next day the night before. And I'm holding myself to it by posting it on Instagram every day. But you don't do it every day. I do it every day. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You've been doing it every day for a week, haven't you? Two weeks. Oh, okay. Since I started. That was one of my... <laughs> You've been doing it since you started? <laughs> <laughs> I meant the new job. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing it since I started. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Thank 
Thank you. You're welcome. Watching too much Roland on Schitt's Creek. <laughs> Um, Again, highly recommend that show. You should watch it. It's funny. It's an insight to what we Canadians are like. All of us. It's true. <laughs> We're either one or the other. Yes, it's true. <laughs> Very true. Um, yeah, so back to the whole planning thing. Maybe, okay, so you have your book that you'll start, mm-hmm. but that's still 46 days away by the <sighs> So maybe in the meantime, you should try to do a six-month, one-year plan thing. I you, hate doing those because why? I don't have any clarity in anything. I don't know. I've well, told they don't you have, they don't I've told have you to this be. a million times. What would Christopher say to you? Well, Christopher is near right now. <laughs> so Has, he can't hold hash, me accountable. <laughs> hashtag uh, change my life coaching at Christopher Lawrence. <laughs> Plug for you, by the way. Um, what would he say to you? Make a plan. And it, then I would say, I don't know how. Well, well yeah. Okay, yeah but but you, this, is, this is the problem. Don't stick your tongue out at me. It's rude. <laughs> this is the problem is that, yeah, sure, I can make a plan. I can write it down, but how effective... Don't interrupt. How effective is that going to be? It's the same thing that you just said a little while ago when you said, you know where you want to be, you know what you want to be doing, but you don't know you don't know how to plan for it. It's the exact same thing. But see, for me, I have no plan, and I also don't know where I want to be. But don't you think that maybe if you wrote it down? No. <laughs> I also don't like writing. I'm not, a, I'm not a journaler. I've had, I got this really cute journal. I don't even Can know. Can I have it? No. Oh. I don't even know how old I was. We were, I was pretty... Relatively little. And it's got a pink fuzzy cover on it. And it says groovy chick on it. Can I have it? No. And I have had it 15 years probably. At least. Yeah. So. Can I have it? No. Well, you don't use it. You can't have somebody's journal when they've written in it. That's totally bad juju. Will you take the pages out that you've written? No. You weirdo. That's like... I would imagine taking somebody's Bible. Oh yeah, don't go down that road. Yeah, it's just wrong. Anyway, it's completely wrong. Mm-hmm. Okay, we've got dead air. Dead air. Um, okay, so planning in that particular way isn't going to work for you. And to put it into perspective for you. How frustrating is it for you that I don't plan meals? I mean, or it's not grocery. It's not frustrating. I wouldn't say it's frustrating. I would just say I'm like, I don't know. It's just kind of, it's an, it's an annoyance maybe. Not even an annoyance. It's just, it's, it's something that just makes me go, oh my God, and roll my eyes. The eye roll heard around the world because it's just ridiculous, I guess. But I wouldn't say it's frustrating. Because the thing is with you is you're going to do what you're going to do. Aren't you? (laughs) What do you mean by that exactly? Like you will, you will eat candy. Even if you were locked up, incarcerated on (laughs) some island on Guantanamo Bay, you would somehow find a way to get yourself 15 kilograms of bulk candy. I'd have a person, for sure. Mm -hmm. I'd have a bitch. I'd have my sugar bitch. (laughs) Well, okay, well, I guess that's my point at this point. I'm going to make a point. I'm asking for help. Yeah, me too. Oh, fine. So you're not going to help me because you're selfish and need your own help. Is that what you're saying? (laughs) But how, how can we help each other when we won't help ourselves? Well, the thing with you... Oh, tell me. ...is that you will ask for help. You understand that when you said you will, it sounded like U-L-E, Y-U-L-E, right? It's not you will, it's you will. <laughs> you will log. Anyway, I digress. The thing about meal... <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me coughing. The thing is, you will ask for help, and then when someone, i.e. me, tries to help you, you rebel. 
Yeah, well, have you met your kind of help? It's not exactly warm and fuzzy. <laughs> Instead, it's just, you don't get the answer that you want, which is about me. And then you get mean. You <laughs> get mean. Oh, Look you're at me. that six month thing where you hate everything, you don't do this, you don't do that. I didn't go on like that. All I said to you really? was Let's roll back the tape. I said to you, you're at that six month thing where something happens and makes you unhappy and then you hate everything. That's what I said. Yeah, and is that help and constructive? I don't know, is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, Helping you, you you ask for help and you want the warm fuzzies. Oh, it's okay. Oh, yeah, I do. Kind of, well, that's not helping either. That's, is that going to help you in the long run? No, it's not. Well, you don't know because you've never tried it. <laughs> <laughs> You're just mean. You're just mean today. <laughs> Listen, lady. It may be mean, but it is factual. <laughs> look at the model I came from. Look yeah, look I... at the model I came from. I'm kidding. I'm, kidding. I'm better I'm kidding. than what I got. Yeah, no, that's would true you, you like? A, would you like what I have? No, apparently not. Nobody would. <laughs> the point is, let's get to the point here. Once again, apparently there is one. Okay, what is the point? The point is, you need to plan. You don't have to stick to the plan, but maybe if you just wrote stuff down on a piece of paper, randomly, just, you d it doesn't even have to be in any sort of order or make sense or anything. Just write stuff down. Yeah, but that's work. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's like I asked you the other day. Oh, no. They, you never did answer me. Oh, yeah. You gave me that smiley, I think, with the, the eyes. Like, well, what? okay, okay, but Sam, you asked me, where do you see yourself in whatever timeline? Where are you doing? What are you wearing? What are you off to do? And you asked me that just before I was going to yoga school. <laughs> so, I acknowledge, I acknowledge that you asked me that question. However, you did not exactly ask me that in a good time. Well, no, but you could have answered it later. You could eat chef. Okay, yes, I could have. However, you know what I get like after I go to yoga school. Well, I know what you get like when somebody asks you that question. Too. Well, that too. Yeah. My my point of it was, I was trying to catch you off guard to get you to answer a question. Just answer it. What comes to your mind? Like first, what's in your head? Not much usually. Oh. That was my point. Okay. I was trying to get you thinking. Okay. Can't you just write words down? Like sure. I'm trying to I'm trying to help you. Okay. Yeah, sure. Have you uh lost the spontaneity spontaneity in this conversation? Where'd you go? I'm right here. <laughs> You're not participating. Well, I'm just not sure what else to say because it's back at that thing of you've told me what to do and... You're not going to do it. Well, it's not that. I just... Those are some relatively personal, introspective questions that I'm not going to share at this point because I don't even know myself. <laughs> okay. And I wasn't necessarily asking you to share them. I know. I was just trying to get you thinking. Yeah, no, that's fair. That's good. I know. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. Well, back to the planning thing. Maybe we could plan for another podcast. Well, we could try. Could we? There's no guarantee, though. Oh, well, fine then. <laughs> because we don't plan. <laughs> no. You don't plan life, and I don't plan meals. <sighs> well, you don't really plan life either, do That's you? true. No, not really. Not really. Flying by the seat of my pants. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. I need to plan, like, Wolfington's post plans. Sleep, eat, bathroom, sleep. Exactly. Sounds great. Doesn't it, though? Mm -hmm. Well, let's, um, let's put a pause to this podcast. Pause. And may I formally invite you back for episode 14. You can invite me back. Not any time, just... Oh, yeah, you can invite me. Well, yeah, you can invite me back. You can okay. invite me back to the, to the podcast that is also named for both of us, so... Sure, invite me to our podcast 
That's great. Thank you. I accept humbly. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, there was, just before we end it, there was a post on Instagram the other day that was, I reposted it from someone else, and it was in a world of sodas, be kombucha. Mm-hmm. I like that. Mm-hmm. I, it was very catchy, and it was very real. Because kombucha is real and yeah. delicious. Mm. Yes, it is. So on that note, we'll take sponsorship from kombucha makers, too. <laughs> So, um, if anybody has any comments or would like to offer some advice <laughs> that we won't take, we we'll welcome it. <laughs> we'll read it though. Please feel free to uh, comment, email. You know, you know where to find one of us. One of us lives in the underground. The other one is wide open. So, um, thanks for listening, people, and welcome back to hopefully a regular um, occurrence. Of- Ish regular ish <laughs> two bitches on a bench now that we can be back outside hopefully bye, bye. bye.